why do we create what's the future of art is AI gonna kill us all and take over our jobs I'm gonna answer none of these questions today but what I do want to do is share some of the magic that I find in the process of creation and just the fun that I get when I work from life and especially when I paint friends I really like to capture the essence of the whole composition as quickly as possible. I mix burnt sienna and ultramarine blue as a base for my shadows. I did a lot of drawings when I was younger and then eventually I realized that I actually liked my drawings more than my paintings and so I tried to understand what about my drawings really resonated with me and then find a way to convey that in my painting and over the years my decision making and my actual sort of process and the way that my brain works created the style that I now utilize. I really enjoy working in oil because since the paint has a pretty slow drying time, I get to move the paint around as it's drying. I can wipe out with a paper towel, I can add more paint, and I can push it and pull it and move it and shape it. Here you can see I am the wacky wavy inflatable balloon man. A genuine style should be a result of a genuine process and a process that is true to who you are and how your brain works. A lot of the evolutionary process of a creative practice is experimenting and then taking the information that you gain from your experiments and applying them to your next series of experiments. And over time, you start to gather the, the patterns, you start to realize what kind of situations bring out the best in your work, what kind of scenarios you actually excel in, what kind of subject matter you're interested in, how you want to paint, what you want to paint. I like to think about the direction of the brush stroke how I apply it, what movement is going to convey the feeling that I want. And it doesn't even have to be completely intentional. Sometimes it's an accident, sometimes it's a combination of accidents. And like the aspect that I actually had the most fun with back in art school when I was doing like a huge amount of life studies and is again seeing how much expression you can find within the abstraction and within the simplification because you'd be you'd be amazed like i remember pieces that had like a few shapes and and they conveyed you know so much emotion expression and i also have in the past like overworked pieces where you spend hours and hours and hours on them and they kind of crumble and so the integrity of the larger relationships and shapes is really what keeps the piece together and it's hard to establish later in the, in the process and so the earlier you do that the better but knowing what you're trying to create and also taking risks and, and chances and experiments and putting that all together into something is kind of the difficulty of being an artist i think like someone in art school will tell you the hard part is learning how to paint right not what to paint and then Someone that just graduated art school is going to tell you kind of the opposite. Almost like I, uh, I've spent five years learning how to paint, but now I don't know what to paint. And, and then it also depends on different people and different strengths and weaknesses. And so I think that like, if you really want to break it down, the hard part is making it, putting it all together, making it all work, and also making it your own, making it original and making it interesting. It's important to never make the model laugh. Here I add a little bit more oleo gel to get my paint to be a little bit more transparent. It also makes it easier to move around. I start 
start to bring a few more colors into the face, balancing some of my initial warm tones. When painting a profile, it's really important to correctly position the ear in relationship to the nose and chin. Sometimes the simplest tools can accomplish a lot. I use a variety of scrapers as well as rubber tools to move and adjust the paint as it's drying. It allows me to really fine tune the value relationships and the kind of textural surface that I find fascinating. It's a really beautiful thing when you get those moments in painting or in other things I'm sure but you know I've mostly experienced it in painting where every single brush stroke falls into place and when you're done with a session you almost don't know how you did it. A big thank you to everyone for watching. I really enjoyed sharing my process. Please like and subscribe to my channel to be notified of future content and I've left some links below in the description. Until next time.